Hello everyone, welcome back to the Must See Booktube channel of all time and today I'll be showing you all my classics. Okay, so uh, all these classics are the books that I own and um, you know, I was bored so I thought why not show off my entire classic collection. So like, um, I think I have more classics, I don't think I do, but this is all I have for now. To me, a classic is considered a book that was written before the 60s, or not before the 60s, during the 60s, but before the 70s, you know? So it could be any, it could be any date in the year, but if it's after the 70s, or 1970, whatever, it's definitely considered a classic. It's just my opinion, but these are the books that I picked out, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I won't really go into detail because, uh, sure, a lot, lots of people know I read these books, but if you if you don't, you should go back. To, you should go back to school, pay attention to school, or at least pick it, pick some of these out from the library. I don't know. But first off, we got John Steinbeck's *The Red Pony*, a really thin book. *Brave New World* by Aldous Huxley. *The Game of Life and How to Play It* by Florence Scovel Shin. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, the 60th Anniversary Edition, and it's a pretty cool edition. We really like the cover. George Orwell's 1984. Anthony Burgess' The Clockwork Orange, which is a very violent book. Reminds me a little bit of Psycho. Not, not really like Psycho, but it's like as disturbing as Psycho, an American Psycho. This, bit, to me, this is considered a psychological thriller because it involves the psycho, so. Except we have this weird erotic novel, but this is Lolita, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, the 50th anniversary edition. It's really weird because it's about this older man that likes this little girl. So I don't, I hope it's not really like a pedophilic type of book, but it's a classic and I have it, so I thought, why not, so. Next up, we got Fan of the Opera by Gaston Lerux. I read this um, last year during the summer and it was a really good read. So, there we go. Okay, so here's a book I do not care about and I don't think I'll be reading this anytime soon. Yeah, there's a couple of books here that I won't be reading anytime soon. But one of those books is Gone with the Rent by Margaret Mitchell. I don't really care about this book because everyone else, it's kind of like a Western romance. Nothing against rest of romance. I'm just like, it's not really my type of books, basically. And I'm not really like a big fan of the flag right there, so. Yeah, there we go. Next up, we got Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Really romantic. Um, just a great book. I have not read this, but I've watched the movie and I heard many great things about the book. So hopefully this will be just as good as people say. Just as people say, so. There we go. Next up, we got a classic that I love, and that's The Inferno of Dante. I'm not sure who the author is, but... Yeah, I'm not sure who the author is, but it's translated by Robert Pinsky, because if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, this is written in it Italian, I think. Hold on, let me check this out. Is it Italian? Or some other language, I don't know. Yeah, it's, I, I just, I, I don't really care, but yeah, it's in English, and it's also on this other language, because yeah, this is the foreign language, and this is the English. So, yeah, pretty cool that they added those two together. Okay, next up, we got uh, The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. The Godfather by Mario Puzo. S.C. Hinton's The Outsiders. One of my favorites of all time. Definitely a five star is worthy. Uh, let's see. This book did not come out during the 60s, but it should be considered a classic because it's called The 60s and Pictures. Very Strange John Lennon and Loco Ono. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The Counts of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Ida by Gertrude Stein. Not sure what this is about, but we all, we probably, you all probably know someone that looks exactly like this because I do, trust me. <laughs> Next up, I have a book of short poems, and that's 
I mean, it's called A Little Book of Cherished Poems, picked out by Kay Ann Carson. So yeah, it has everyone that we all know, like William Shakespeare, Robert Louis Stevenson, Robert Frost, Emily Dickinson, all of those good authors are in here. So okay, next up, we got The Haunting of Hell House. Amazing, amazing TV series. Or, yeah, series from um, Netflix. Hopefully, it will kind of stay true to the book, but... It's more modern, and this book is from the 60s. So, okay, next up, we have a book by Riley Dust Jacket, and that's Rose Mary's Baby by Aura Levin. So, yeah, sadly, I don't have a dust jacket, but it's green, so that's kind of cool. Okay, next up, we got Bram Stoker's Dracula's Guests and Other Tales of Horror. So, I really like this cover too. Kind of like a Barnes and Noble edition, but not really. Next up, we got Robertson Crusoe's 20,000 Leagues Under the, Under the Sea. It's like an older edition, because yeah, it's like being up already. That's so cool. Another book about at this jacket, we got Winston Churchill by Robert Louise Taylor. Kind of like a biography, I guess. Shane Austin's Emma. Kind of a older edition, but it's so cool. Next up, we got one of my top five favorites uh, of all time, uh, alongside with Dow Siders, and that's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Had to read this for school, and I kind of had the Halloween thing to it, or like the Frankenstein thing to it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. This is awesome right here. We have the A Lot in the Odyssey, or by Homer. I think it's by Homer. I'm not sure, but it's like it's kind of like a Barnes Noble edition and it's awesome like here's like a bookmark here and like it's all in gold i really like these type of barnes and noble editions hopefully i can get more of these soon okay there we go okay next up we have the scar letter by nessana hoffman a tale of two cities by charles dickens the call of the world by jank london Stephen Crane, The Red Batch of Courage. John Starbucks, Of Mice and Men. And I got this book just yesterday, and that's, that's um, Les Mercerabas, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Victor Hugo. And it's cool that it came out, that it came with these tabs too. Makes it look cool. So, there we go. Next, we got the short stories of Ernest Hemingway. Uh, Shirley Jackson, we have Always Lived in the Castle, which is a really cool cover. It has a really cool cover. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson's The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and other tales. The Catcher in the Rye, one of the most well-known books, mainly because the author is a jerk, and because the man who murdered John Lennon read this, so... Okay. Next up, Laura of the Flies by William Golden. Kind of like a horror novel, but not really. We have another copy of Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. And right here we have three novels and one. And it's Shirley Jackson's The Road Through the Wall, Hangs a Man, and The Bird's Nest. They have a really creepy cover. Okay, and this is a Real Digest condensed book, I guess. Featuring Old Yeller, Harry Black, The Greer Case, A Thing of Beauty, and A Single Pebble. I just got this because of Old Yeller. And I got this for free, so. Oh man, we have more copies. Uh, this is a, this is my second copy of To Kill a Mockingbird. It has a really cool cover there. Animal Farm, one of my all-time favorites as well. One of my top fives. Red Batch of Courage again. This one's a book about a dust jacket, and it's called The New Junior Classics Poetry Reading Guide. So, yeah, it's cool. Next up, we got Ernest Hemingway's For Whom the Bell Tells. I'm still reading this book, and it's good so far. Next up, we got American Supernatural Tales, featuring like a lot of authors like Sherry Jackson, Ethan Hawthorne, H.P. Lovecraft, Stephen King. So, that's pretty cool. Next up, we got In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Or Capote, whatever. 
But yeah, it's a true crime mystery, and um, I really like the sticker here. I kind of want to take it off, but I don't want to risk it. So um, yeah, so I guess it's a, it's a trial, or like the history of the case, I'm not sure. But it's written by the guy that reconstructs the murder and the investigation. So that's really cool. Okay, next up we have Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven and Other Tales. And it's like this little kid's version, I guess. It just has like, like a bunch of pictures here. So that's like really cool. Next up we got Overstow's Miss Sidekicks. I mean to philosophy as well. So that's pretty cool. Next up we have Aubrey Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. Uh, the Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan, which is like one of the worst books I've read before. That I've ever read, I guess. Next up, I have Harriet Beecher Stowe, Unger, Uncle Tom's Cabin. They're a really cool cover right there. And it also came with like this newspaper. Oh, not really like a newspaper. It just came with like something interesting. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, right, here we go. It's, it's like this weird digest thing. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Back we have Chair R.R. Tolkien, The Hobbit. Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. Aesop's Fables. Moby Dick by Herman Mavell. Another book that I don't think I'll be reading anytime soon. Uh, Plato, The Last Days of Socrates. A kind of kind of a bad book, but you know. Next up, we have Charles Dickens' Great Great Expectations. H. G. Wells' The Time Machine and The Invincible Man. The Prince and Other Writings. Arrow Book of Poetry. The Great Gatsby, which I'm reading right now, and it's really good so far. The Complete Sherlock Holmes book. I'm that far in as well, and you guys should check out the. Sherlock um, TV series, the British TV series. We look good with um, Cumberbatch. I think that's how you pronounce this. Benedict Cumberbatch, the guy who plays um, Doctor Strange in the new Marvels movie. Check that one out. Okay, next up we have Alice's one. No, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. This really cool edition. There's actually someone there I know that collects a lot of Alice in Wonderland editions. She has, she has like over 70 editions and she does not own this, which I find kind of interesting. So, yeah. Next up we have Plato's The Trial and Death of Socrates. Uh, next up, Little Woman. How to Start Burying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. Really good book. Uh, next up we have Dracula. We have another cool cover. Uh, I love how it's all black too. Really gothic. <laughs> Next up, we have the complete works of William Shakespeare. Got this at a library for a dollar. Also has like a bookmark there too. So that's really cool. This thing came out during the 60s, but technically, like, it, it was during that time. And that's a Black Delilah uh, case. But yeah, really cool cover. And. And not really like a cliche thing either. <laughs> Next up we have a compilation of books. So we have two novels and one. This is Dale Carnegie's Lifetime Plan for Success, How to Rent Friends and Influence People, and How to Start Brewing and Start Living. I read both of these books and they were good. And the last book of this classic collection, and that's Edgar Allan Poe's Complete Tales and Poems. Yeah, this is all it. These are all my books that I have. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If I didn't talk too much, it's because I just wanted to get this all out of the way. Um, I actually got a new book and graduation because I graduated yesterday, and I got this new book called, called Inside the Asylum by Chad Bevan. My classmate gave me this book, and I thank her so much for this. But yeah, these are all of the classics that I got or have. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you all next time.